The pulse dive's on the charge, and so are the GoPro batteries. For a little holiday on the Hawkesbury and I'm tidying up my latest edit because it's a little bit rainy today and can I just say you guys want to stick around to the end of this one because we're gonna hear from the winner of the giveaway in last episode hey everyone welcome back if you're new my name's Kurt my friends call me Kurtle and we are heading out today to go detecting again I'm here with Eddie and we're going looking for gold so back to a new beach today we haven't been to this spot what do you think are our chances today, Eddie? Finding some rings, jewelry, iPhones, coins. What do you reckon? So from the research, it seems pretty good. We've got some really high tides as well. So unfortunately, we're going to be there at the high point. So luckily, we can hold our breath. <laughs> yeah. Be, so for the first half of the day, we got high tide. Really high tide. We'll be diving down quite a way. The second half of the day should be a bit more manageable. Yeah. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be good. I just love trying a new beach out, doing some recon based on the old photos and research that we did. You know, I'm just really keen to see what's there. Yeah, well, it's an old area, so it's years and years worth of stuff. Hopefully, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you out there. Ah, 
Look at the hallway dog. Yeah, well, I gotta That's hot pill bin. There's still a couple of targets here. Really similar face to what I've got. Hmm. I remember. Still can't identify you. There's no steps on there. Oh, I think there was, they're just very worn. Looks like a 14k colour, like that weird colour. Like... The stamps are on the outside. Oh, okay. guys I'm back at home as you can see now last video I did get a few comments requesting me to do a weigh-in so I'm going to do that now I've got the two days where the stuff I got the first day already split into lead and copper brass and I got the other bag here so I'm going to go ahead and weigh all that individually and then together so here we have all the stuff from day one which comes out to be instead of that about a kilo and all the brass and copper which came to a bit over a kilo 
So a bit over a kilo on the brass and the copper and about a kilo with the lead. Hmm. Gonna need a new copper brass tub. I actually got two buckets of lead going and two weight boards full. Here we have the copper and the brass, which comes out to be just over a kilo, so pretty consistent with day one. Now the lead, I think is gonna be skewed because of that big dive weight I found, but yeah, one, two, two and a half kilos, so definitely more than day one. Not bad. We also have all these coins, the 20, 40, 60, 80, Yeah, it's about three dollars today. Not that much in coins. And I forgot to video it, but there's the rest of the lead in there and the rest of the copper in the bucket. So this is the part you've all been definitely waiting for. Here's all the main stuff from day one. So we ended up with three silver rings, two gold rings, one 18k, one 9k, and I think it's just a gold plated earring, so we're not going to weigh that one. And all the coins. And over here I have all the stuff from day two, which ended up being just one silver ring and a few coins, which was interesting because I found so much more lead and copper on day two, so a lot more targets. But the quality of the targets on day one was so much better, and I don't know if that comes down to luck or if my technique and I was just in a different spot. So anyway, let's weigh it up and see how we go. So for the silver, we had... Let's wait for it to tear. There we go. 11.34 grams for day one. And on day two, we had that one ring, which was 5.21 grams. Then, I'll make it a bit easier for you guys. In terms of coins, day two, we had just under three dollars. And two two cent coins. Three two cent coins. And for day one, we had two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, probably about eleven to twelve dollars in coins there. And for the gold, we ended up with two point nine six grams of nine carat and four point one six grams of eighteen carat. So there you go, guys. Those who asked for it, there's the way up of everything I found. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video guys, we're going to hear from the winner of the 100 subscriber giveaway, which was Sean. Now Sean actually entered the competition for his daughter Esther, and he sent me a little reaction video of her finding out, and also a video of her receiving that giveaway in the mail, and it is one of the cutest things I've ever seen, so we're going to watch that. Great to see kids out and about, so I'm going to go to you both, so we have a few entries, but I'm a little bit soft on that one, so I hope you kids enjoy that. And I hope to see you out there one time. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> and I will see you on the next adventure. Uh, there you go. What'd yeah. you get? What'd you get? Tell me. Huh? Well, who's it from? Cartel. Oh, that's exciting. Wanna open it up? Yes. Is it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Thank you. How cute is that? Thanks, Sean. Thanks again, Esther. I hope to see you guys out there. And for the rest of you, follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs>